Hello and welcome to another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the third flavor boost of Kraft Dinner. And as you can see here, this is Buffalo Wings. And this cost $3 at some point. I didn't pay $3 for it. I think I paid more than that. Because I got through a third party. But, you've seen me try the jalapeno and the butter chicken. Now it's time for Buffalo Wings interesting thing about buffalo wings and kind of the reason why I'm doing this right now even though it's not going to come out for like probably a week or two after I film this is because Kraft Macaroni and Cheese America just on their Twitter announced three flavor boost flavors one of which is buffalo um, I'm very interested to see when that comes out if it tastes exactly like this but I imagine it's at least very similar or they start off with this flavor and maybe change a couple things uh, maybe to make it better but the other two that they're doing is ranch and pizza ranch and pizza two flavors not included in the Canadian version so uh, at some point when those become available to me I'll definitely try to get my hands on them and try them Right now, uh, the only way you can get them is by being like one of the first 10 people to see a tweet and click a link. And people are saying like it's done in like six seconds. So, really doubtful that I'll be able to get that. But, let's try this one Craft Dinner Buffalo Wings. I got it right here. As you can see, not much change in color. Buffalo wing sauce is kind of the same color as a, a cheese sauce. Very similar, maybe a little more orange and yellow. Um, again, the fake little sprinkle uh, dust on the package, which does, doesn't look like anything. Uh, it has a single pepper out of three on this one. This is the first time I'm noticing that. Do the other ones have the peppers on them? Anyway, let's try it out. Again, you just make it the bowl of macaroni and cheese like you normally would, put the flavor packeting in it. And as you can hear, it's got the mac and cheese sounds. Of course, the part I ripped off had the ingredients on it. Don't you hate it when that happens? It definitely has a cayenne flavor to it. When I think of buffalo sauce in my mind, I think of like, take your favorite hot sauce, whether it be Louisiana, Frank's, etc. You can put it in a pan with some butter. I'm not sure the exact ratio. You melt the butter into the hot sauce. It turns from red to a more paler orange. That's buffalo sauce. Though this is spicy, like I said, I have a, there's a cayenne flavor to it, like a dry powder cayenne. I'm not really getting buffalo sauce. To me, buffalo sauce has a little bit of a tang to it. There's some vinegar in the hot sauce, and there's like a richness to it, which you get from the butter. So it really has a three aspect. It has a spice, it has a tanginess, and it has a buttery richness. There's already butter in macaroni when you make it. But I'm not really getting I'm not really getting what I would think of as buffalo sauce flavor. Also I don't know 
but there's supposed to be a chicken aspect to it. I'm not really getting that either. If it was meant to be there or not. I would say out of the three I've tried so far, this one is least interesting. I thought buffalo wing, you'd really get that flavor of buffalo wing sauce. But really, I'm just getting like if someone put some dry cayenne into your macaroni and mixed it up. It's not terrible. Like a little spicy kick to your macaroni. Just doesn't taste like buffalo sauce. Hopefully for the American version, they fix that. Maybe like powderize, powderize a little bit of vinegar flavor. Powderize more like rich butter flavor. And then mix that in with the, because the cayenne, the pepperiness in here is already there. You don't need to change that part. The buffalo sauce has a little bit of a tang to it and a little bit of buttery richness. And I don't get either of those parts in here. So I would say, rename this just cayenne pepper flavor. It would be pretty accurate. Other than that, it tastes like Kraft macaroni and cheese. And what's not to like about that? Anyway, there you go. That's my review of this flavor boost. So far, my least favorite of the three I've had so far. Um, the last three, I think I've saved best, or at least the most interesting, for last. And you'll see them coming up soon. Um, whenever that may be, you know, I don't schedule these things. I don't really have much of a plan going into them. Except, I wanted to try all of them and tell you what I thought. And we're halfway through. We'll see you at the finish line when we get there. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Keep on watching. Hopefully at some point I'll get to those 4,000 view hours. And I can start making these big Google Bucks. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.